Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is kind of about two things. I wanted to show you guys all the decorations that I've got in my dreads and start this year off with a dread video. But I also wanted to talk to you guys about my new background that I made. So if you want to know about that then stay tuned till the end of this video. But first I am going to start off with my decorations. So some of them have meaning, some of them don't, a lot of them don't but I wanted to show you guys anyway. So I'll just start off with this one. The first one I have is a little turtle. He doesn't really mean anything, I just thought he was kind of cute. And on that same dread I have an amethyst crystal, which is good for healing emotional issues and physical ailments like nervous system and nerve problems. And it also helps with nightmares and insomnia, that sort of thing. So I thought that it'd be kind of handy to have. Next up is this one. It's just a hamster hand. I have two of these. I think I have a gold one and a silver one. And that's sort of just for good luck. And I have a tree of life, which kind of just reminds me to stay grounded and not take anything for granted because with life comes death. Speaking of death, I have a skull. I think he was meant to be like a lip piercing. I got him from my dad's shop down south. Uh, and yeah, I thought he was pretty cool. I just want to say that all of my beads are kind of like free moving. Uh, you don't really want your beads too tight, otherwise they will cause weak spots in your dreads like my crystal probably will because I can't move them but that's in an extension so I can just replace the extension but yeah I wouldn't recommend having them too tight. But moving along I have a OM symbol which is uh, the sound that people make when they're meditating I'm sure you've heard it so they say that the sound is uh, and like the vibration that you make from making the sound is the same sound that the universe makes in unison so it's kind of like a unspoken universal language which I think is really cool. Next up I just have this little silver charm which kind of like wraps around. I have a few of those so I'll probably just skip most of them. On the end of that I have this little elephant charm and it doesn't really mean anything, but it kind of reminds me of how elephants are like scared of mice. And not because the m mouse is scary, but because they're afraid that they're going to squish it and hurt it. And I'm always afraid of hurting people, so that just kind of reminds me to be kind. Next up, I have a dope leaf, because if you don't know me, I smoke quite a lot. Then I have... Uh, a little star up here because stars are amazing and a key down here which doesn't mean anything the key is kind of like attached to a bit of bendy wire I don't know if you can see that and I like wrapped that around my dread and now my dread's kind of wrapping itself around the wire so that one's probably going to stay in there for a while and moving over I have an angel wing because I have guardian angels everywhere then this one's just another one of them silver charms. Oh, I already showed you that one. And that one. I got two more on this side. So here I have a dragonfly, which kind of reminds me of my mum. She really likes dragonflies and she has them all over her house for decoration. So that one just makes me think of my mum when I see it. On this one I have another little skull because they're cool. And, well, I almost fell over. Um, a spider, so uh, I don't know what sort of spider he is, but I thought he was pretty awesome. He's got like spikes on his back and he's like trapped in this little teardrop, raindrop looking thing. And I thought it was funny because like people usually think that you must have like spiders and bugs and things in your dreads, so I thought it'd be funny to put an actual spider in my dreads. Okay, moving along, I have. This little one here, well it's not even that little, it's quite big actually, but I got this from my partner's mum. It was originally a necklace, but I can't wear anything that's not like sterling silver, it gives me a rash, which is why I have this on a rope. But uh, it's got a little starfish in it with some rocks, 
and it's really cute so I thought because I can't wear it as a necklace I would put it onto my dreads. So there's another one that doesn't really move. Again it's on an extension though so I'll just replace that if I need to. So then I have a little heart with angel wings. Uh, this one kind of reminds me of my daughter. When I was editing photos I had a picture of my partner and I together when I was 12 weeks along and there was a little sticker thing that I could put on the picture of a heart with angel wings so I did that and that was my screensaver for a while and then when I ordered these charms I didn't even realise this was going to be in it but it was so this kind of reminds me of my daughter and then just another little red charm that wraps around I have another OM symbol a few of those uh, I have a little leaf which is going to be the one that I show you how to put on because the ones that are more like beads so like they don't wrap around I need to use a crochet hook to put them on so I thought it'd be handy if I show you guys how to do that um, I'm going to save this one for last because it's my most meaningful this one's just got a little gold charm and a sun on it which kind of reminds me that the sun will always rise again tomorrow and life goes on whether you're ready for it to or not so I don't know just reminds me to be prepared I suppose because that has something to do with the sun this one's just a little purple background charm just so that dread had something on it this one here is a little puppy footprint my dog he was 15 he passed away last year so that one just reminds me of him and then I had this little Celtic a uh, cross, well, it's not a cross, it's an arrow uh, and uh, it doesn't really mean anything I decided to put it pointing up towards the sky just cause <laughs> then here I have another one of them little leaves I've got a couple of those and a cross which reminds me of my dad he always used to sit down and talk to me about religion and that sort of thing not a religious person but we have some good talks about it so that just reminds me of him. Here I have another one of them skulls, um, he was a lip piercing as well from dad's shop. I have another hamster hand, I think that's the silver one because the more good luck the better. Another little silver charm and blue one, make sure there's something on there and I think one of these has a red one as well so that one doesn't mean anything then I'm using the screen as my mirror by the way that one I've already done that's my little red charm I've already done him a little silver charm now this one is a yin and yang symbol reminding me that there's always good within bad and some bad within the good and it's just the balance of life basically and then this one is probably my favourite. So I've got a couple charms on here actually. So they're wrapped around on wire as well. So they're probably going to stay in Madrid for a while. And then attached to the wire I've got this little bloodstone, which is my daughter's birthstone. And it also helps with um, like health and, and mental well-being and that sort of thing. And then next to that I've got a little bird feather because birds and fantails remind me of her and then this little bracelet that I made which is kind of too small to be a bracelet I decided I would attach onto one of the charms so it's not wrapped around my dread it's just attached through one of the charms using the crochet hook and it's a five strand braid which represents my daughter's birthday so there's one strand that has four pieces of thread one that has 10 and one that has 18 so that represents her birthday then there's one that has 17 which is how many weeks along I was and 23 for how old I was so this dread is kind of dedicated to my daughter but it was too big to put that other charm on otherwise I would have done that so yeah that's all my decorations I also have a whole bunch of yarn that I'd like to show you guys how to do some wraps with okay so I'm going to show you how to attach this one here which is like a more of a bead rather than a wraparound sort of decoration so I'm just going to take the hair off it. So I'm going to put it on this one. I've made sure that the dread is going to be small enough for the width of the charm. So 
so I just sit that whichever way it's going to hang on the dread and put that over my crochet hook. Then I take my dread on the hook, make sure I've got a decent amount, I slide the charm up and then just gently pull in with my hair through, going back in and pulling more hair, just little bit by little bit until I've got some sticking at the end there, which I'm able to just grab and slide that right on. And that one is able to move freely and it's as simple as that. And it doesn't probably matter what size your crochet hook is, this one's a 1.25, it's the one I use for maintenance if I ever do. Um, I've only done maintenance twice and I've had my dread since June, we're now in January. <coughs> so they're almost seven months old, which is pretty cool. So yeah, now I would like to show you guys my background, which has been my project for the last week. So I'm just going to flip the camera around. So if I can hold my tablet steady. Down the bottom we have Anna and Elsa from Frozen and Anna has noticed Tinkerbell flying and Elsa is doing some magic so Olaf has a cloud so we can play in the sun with everybody else. And then down in between Olaf and Anna is little Chip from Beauty and the Beast, he's blowing bubbles so he's doing magic too. Then across is Tiana from Princess on the Frog with her frog prince jumping after her. And we have Tom and Jerry running down the yellow brick road. And then moving upwards is Rapunzel just resting in the grass next to a couple of the Dalmatians. To the right is Remy and his brother from Ratatouille. Up to the left a little is Bumper from Bambi. Then in the corner we have Ariel and Prince Eric's dog. Moana with her little crystal looking up to the sky. Pinocchio and Mowgli looking up at the sky as well. Lady from Lady and the Tramp and the White Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. I also have Alice from Alice in Wonderland and little Marie the White Cat from Aristocats. Moving up is the house from Up which is done by Pixar. And I have Peter Pan and Wendy and the children as well as Dumbo. Coming back down is Cinderella running away on the yellow brick road without her shoes and another little Dalmatian. There's Snow White and her prince walking along the path. And we have Mulan painting herself. I'm um, yet to paint the pumpkin. I want to do some sort of tattoo designs on it to make it look like she was practicing on that too. And Scuttle is amazed at this tool that he's never seen and he's probably come up with a crazy name for it. Then I have Aurora from Sleeping Beauty talking to the little chameleon from Tangle. Tarzan and Jane, Tarzan just picked some flowers and the little hummingbird from Pocahontas is eyeing them up. Then I have Mushu pointing up at the sky because he's never seen people flying like that before. Bambi just because Bambi's cute and Simba from The Lion King who's looking a bit dopey from Snow White. Up a little bit I have Tweety Bird flying and Aladdin and Jasmine on the magic carpet with Penelope from Rick at Ralph catching a ride. Then I have Pocahontas and John Smith and Miko just looking up at the sky and Miko's resting. There's Gus from Cinderella looking at Abu dancing to Prince Eric's music. Belle from Beauty and the Beast reading a story and Stitch really wants her to read the story out loud. There's Lilo brushing her doll's hair and Turk from Tarzan holding a banana. And we have uh, Merida from Brave just resting looking up at the sky and Jiminy Cricket is sitting on her knee, standing on her knee looking over at Pinocchio. And then Iago from Aladdin carrying the lamp. Moving up is Baymax with his friend, I can't remember the kid's name. I have Eve and Wally with the boot with the plant in it. There's the kid from Up and Mike Wazowski. And then I have Hercules and Meg from Hercules. <laughs> and lastly I have the feelings from Inside Out 
and it kind of looks like the happy ones explaining how she just saw this giant magical creature and everyone else is looking behind her at the giant magical creature who's also pointing at them and I just thought that was kind of funny so yeah that is the new background So as I said, I had been doing that for about a week while I haven't been able to upload and basically I took photos on my phone of some of the characters I had in a colouring book that I've got and then others I just found on Google and blew them all up on my phone and traced it onto paper, coloured them all in and cut them out and then I used 35 pieces of A3 paper for the background which I coloured in and then glued everyone to it and stuck it all together so that's what happens when I get bored maybe drop down in the comments who your favorite Disney character is I'd love to know my favorite is probably the Little Mermaid I don't know why I just loved her ever since I can remember and maybe drop down in the comments which decoration is your favorite as well and I will definitely get on to making my wrap video for you guys not RAP wrap I already did that and that was embarrassing no I mean like my hair wrap so yeah I'll definitely show you guys how to do that I've got my yarn just up there anyway thank you so much for watching and for being patient with me while I haven't been uploading videos I will definitely be uploading more often and you can look forward to seeing this face once a week hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.